Greetings, writers. It's Mr. Hebda from the Lackawanna College Writing Center, and I'm here today to talk about the parts of an APA paper. All right, let's dive right in. So APA papers generally come in two different forms. And as you'll see throughout this presentation, I'm going to be using or modeling examples of in-text or parentheses, like in parenthetical style citations um, in APA format. So here I'm giving credit to the Purdue OWL website or the online writing lab. And uh, usually I would put the year of the publication, but since it's a website and it didn't list the, the year, I have to put ND as a kind of stand in for that. I'll have another video that goes into a lot more detail on how to make these citations. But for now, I just wanted to give you um, a heads up just and give you some familiarity of what these things would look like as we get closer to that video. All right, so the two forms for APA papers are the student form, which is typically used in classes, and the professional form, which is usually used for uh, journal article publications by professional researchers. Um, I would always recommend that you check in with your professor to see what your professor wants you to do. Um, because in more advanced classes, your professor might be wanting you to start moving toward that professional style of writing. Um, but for the time being, and for these videos, we'll focus on student papers, because that's most likely what you're going to be encountering in your classes. All right, before we dive into the four parts of an APA essay, I want to make a quick note about APA fonts in that they're not so strict like a, like MLA is. You may be familiar with MLA's um, focus on a kind of 12-point Times New Roman style black font. Um, and that's really the only acceptable font. Well, for APA, there's no single required font like that. Instead, there's a whole list of suggested fonts. And feel free to pause the video here and check out this list that I have. Um, these are suggestions. So, be sure, like I said before, check in with your professor, your instructor, and see if they have specific preferences, because they might. It's always a good idea. All right. So what are the four parts of an APA paper? Well, they are the title page, the abstract, the main body, and the references page. So let's take a look at each one of these in a little more detail. And I'll probably have videos in the future that will show you how to create each of these pages in more detail. All right, title page. So the title page is comparable to your MLA style heading. And really the point here is just to give identification information, who wrote the paper, what class is it for, that kind of stuff. So here's a whole list of the typical stuff you would see on a title page. Um, as you can see, it's not a lot of things. It's not a lot of material. It's really the page is going to be mostly blank, and for that reason, this page would not count toward the length requirement of an essay. So, say your instructor wants you to write a five-paragraph, a five-page essay. Say a five-page essay. Um, the title page would not count as one of those five pages. All right, the abstract page. Now, you might not be familiar with an abstract, but it's really pretty simple. An abstract is just a brief summary of your paper. And according to Purdue Owl, it's usually under 250 words long. So it's, it's a pretty good sized paragraph, pretty large paragraph. Um, and it's typically followed by a keyword list. So if you had the chance to check out my video on advanced database tools with keywords, um, you'll have a familiarity with what keywords are, right? They're crucial words that are used to help um, in a database while you're searching a database to find information. So the point of the abstract page is to help researchers. Other researchers might look up your, your report, your essay, and uh, it might hit one of the keywords that they're searching because you put in that keyword list that helps them out. Then once they find your paper, they can read that summary that you wrote to see if they want to read more thoroughly or more deeply into your essay to use it for their own work or use it in their own projects. Again, this page does not count toward the length requirement of an essay because it's only got really one paragraph on it. All right, the main body. So this is really where your essay is. This includes most of the text of your essay. And typically, 
it's broken down into subsections. And I'll have a video that discusses exactly how to do these different subsections. But just to give you a flavor or a sense of what some of these subsections are like, here's a couple example titles of different subsections. Um, this is also where you're going to find in-text citations, as I've been using throughout this presentation, those citations that are in parentheses at the end of sentences. This area of the paper does count toward the length requirement of an essay because it includes kind of the bulk or the material that you're writing here. So if you had that five-page requirement for your essay and you go on to the sixth page, double-spaced, your, your essay is going to hit that requirement. All right. So let's talk about the references page. And this is comparable to your MLA Works Cited page. Um, so it starts off on a, sec a separate area, of pa a separate page than the, the main body. It includes a list of very thorough citations, not like those small in-text citations that I've been modeling for you throughout this presentation. And the purpose of this is to help readers find out where you got your information, because they might want to look up some of those sources and fact check you, or maybe they want to use some of those sources for their own work, for their own essays. Maybe they're good too. Maybe it's a good source. Once again, the references page will not count toward the length requirement of an essay, so keep that in mind. Really, it's only the main body that counts. So as an example, I wanted to show you what a reference page style citation would look like. So here's a, a reference page style citation for the Purdue Online Writing Lab uh, page that I got most of this information from. Um, I'll have another video that goes into more depth about how to make these style citations. So be sure to check out and keep an eye on the Lackawanna College Writing Center's YouTube channel for more videos on APA and other writing topics. And as always, feel free to make an appointment at the Writing Center for any writing-related needs. Thanks for joining me, writers, and keep up the great work, everyone. Mr. Hebda out.